Okay, this is part 37 of Corey's birthday special, in which we're now going to play Jeopardy for the PlayStation. Sounds like I'm in a bundle for Corey this game. Hi folks. Okay. We'll just add two computer players. All right. Player 1, what's your name? We just got done playing uh, Wheel of Fortune for the PS2, and I won nearly $80,000 in cash and prizes. That's not bad. On Jeopardy for the PS2, I won Corey over $300,000. Welcome to another game of Jeopardy. Like to see the categories for the first round? Yes, please. Well, here they are. I'm ready. U.S. skyscrapers. All right. P's and Q's. Both in quotation marks. World religions. Single named singers. The Western Hemisphere. This category. Movies of the 90s. Go ahead, player one. I think we'll go to movies of the 90s for 100. Kevin Bacon played command module pilot Jack Swigert in this 1995 blockbuster. What is Apollo 13? Player one. That's right. Movies of the 90s for 200. All right, pick again. Richard Gere played a businessman who fell for Julia Roberts in this 1990 film. What is Pretty Woman? Player one. You are correct. Uh, what's up, movies of the 90s? All right, pick again. She portrayed former Marine turned high school teacher Luann Johnson in Dangerous Mind. Who's Michelle Pfeiffer? Player one. Yes. I'll take the movies of the 90s for 400. All right, pick again. The L.A. film critics named John Travolta best actor for this 1994 film. Give him a royale with cheese. Uh, what is Pulp Fiction? Player one. Yes, indeed. You're in first place all by yourself. Yeah, that should be. All right, pick again. Days. In 1994's Immortal Beloved, Gary Oldman portrayed this composer. Player one. That's right. All right, pick uh, again. Let's go with P's and Q's for 100. It's an untrained person pretending to have medical knowledge. What is a quack? Player one. Yes, indeed. Uh, P's and Q's All right, pick again. Please. 
answer. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Player one, please make your wish. In 1912, a reticulated one of these animals was measured at 32 feet, nine and a half inches long. What is a... Player one? Python. Exactly. Need to choose three. All right, think again. The first free fall jump using one of these devices was from a damaged airplane in 1922. What's your parachute? Player one. To be sure. Uh, except you need to choose four. All right, pick again. Today, most of this medicine comes from cinchona trees in Java. What is final? Player one. That's it. All right, pick again. Used in jellies and compotes, this fruit of the rose family puckers the mouth when tasted raw. Player one. Okay, uh, I'm gonna take a guess. I'd say it was a, no. I'm gonna take a guess and say what is a papaya. No, I'm sorry. Here is the correct response. Okay. All right, pick again. Uh, single name singer, 100. Remixes from her post album are featured on this Icelandic pop star's 1996 album, Telegram. Who is Bjork? Player one. To be sure. Single name singer, 200. All right, pick again. She drooled over Antonio Banderas in the 1991 documentary, Truth or Dare. Who is Madonna? Player one. That's correct. We'll go single for 300, please. All right, pick again. In 1997, she starred on TV as Cinderella. Player one. Exactly. All right, pick again. This rapper's Gangsta's Paradise sampled Stevie Wonder's Pastime Paradise. Who's Julio? Player one. Exactly. All right, pick again. This single name singer combines New Age music with Irish folk. Uh, Player one. Yes. All right, pick again. Skyscrapers in this city include 191 Peachtree Tower, Weston Peachtree Plaza, and one Peachtree Center. Uh, what is Atlanta? Player one. You are correct. All right. All right, pick again. This Northwest City's Columbia Sea First Center is more than 300 feet taller than its Space Needle. What is Seattle? Player one. Exactly. Yes, All right, pick again. In the 1970s, windows kept falling out of this city's new John Hancock Tower. What is Boston? Player one. You are correct. Uh, U.S. Guys, Service 400. All right, pick again. One Liberty Place in this eastern city rises 63 stories. Player one. One Liberty Place, uh... I have it between two. But I will go with one of my instincts that was Philadelphia. Yes, indeed. Got it. All Let's right, pick again. 500. Nations Bank Corporate Center towers 871 feet over this city, North Carolina's largest. What is Charlotte? Player one.
That's it. All right, pick uh, again. The Western Hemisphere for 100. The deepest part of this gulf on the USA's southern border is Sigsby at 17,070 feet below sea level. What's the Gulf of Mexico? Player one. Yes, indeed. Western All right, pick again. 200. About two-thirds of this Danish island lies north of the Arctic Circle. What? Player one. Correct. All right, pick again. Headquarters house in this city was once the seat of the Jamaican government. Player one. Why, yes. All right, pick again. Rafael Trujillo's dictatorship over this nation lasted from 1930 until his 1961 assassination. What, Cuba? Player one. I'm going to take a guess and say what is... Oops, I'm sorry. What is Nicaragua? No, I'm sorry. Not Nicaragua. Player three. Oh, the Dominican Republic. Yes. Uh. Player three. Okay. No worries. This faith of about 80% of India's population has no single founder or creed. Player one. What is Hinduism? Yes. World Religions 200. Player one. Both Sunnis and Shiites hold Fatima, his daughter by Khadija, in great reverence. Player one. Was... Oh. Oh, sorry, I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry, that's wrong. Ah. Player two? Oh. Correct. All right, contestant two. Ah, uh, that was hard. This is the common term for the Roman Catholic sacrament of penance or reconciliation. Player two? Confession, yeah. That's it. All right, pick again. Ching Tu, or pure land, is one of the most influential forms of the Mahayana branch of this faith. Player two? Buddhism, you know, I guess. That's correct. Not worried. All right, pick again. These nomadic people, the Ram, are monotheistic and worship a god named Del. Player two? The gypsies. That's right. And to finish the board... South America's northernmost point is Punta Gallinas in this country. What Player one? is Colombia? Why, yes. All right. All right, that's the end of the Jeopardy round. Let's look at the total scores so far. Player two is fourteen hundred. Player three is four hundred. By grouping up some clues, I feel like I did okay. Let's move on to double Jeopardy. Let's get to the categories for Double Jeopardy. We're dealing with... Song lyrics. Movie trivia. Doohickeys. Famous Americans. The 1840s. Lakes and rivers. Okay, player three, you start us off. Famous Americans 200. Arriving in Australia from the Philippines in 1942, he said, I came through and I shall return. Uh, who is Charles Douglas Player one? MacArthur? Nope, not Douglas Michael. Douglas MacArthur. 
That's it. Kevin's direct is 400. What'll it be, player one? This architect's Imperial Hotel in Tokyo wrote out the 1923 earthquake because of its floating design. Player three. Frank Lloyd Wright, yeah. That's right. It's your turn, player three. Doohickeys for 200. It's a small swiveling wheel attached to the bottom of pieces of furniture. Player three. Caster. Yes, indeed. All right, pick again. It's the pen point you insert into the tip of a fountain pen. Player three. A nib. Why, yes. All right, pick again. They're the raised bars on the neck of a guitar. Player one. For our fret. That's it, exactly. You've got a commanding lead. Uh, you think he's for 800. Player one, it's your turn. It hangs inside a bell and strikes the sides to produce ringing. What's a clapper? Player one. To be sure. All right, pick again. Proper term for the roller on a typewriter. Player three. The platen, platen. That's right. That takes you into second place. Pronounce, either way, that's right. Player three. Um, movie trivia for 200. Before directing and acting in Citizen Kane, he provided narration for 1940s Swiss Family Robinson. Blue Orson Welles. Player one. That's it, exactly. Movie trivia 400. Your choice, player one. <laughs> Gene Kelly's first on-screen pairing with this dance rival was in Zigfield Follies in 1946. Was Fred Player one. That's right. All right, pick again. The Royal Ballet's Antoinette Sibley appeared in this 1977 Herbert Ross film about ballet. What is the turning point? Player one. Right you are. All right, pick again. He played Elvis Trainer in Kid Galahad a dirty dozen years before he starred in Death Wish. Who is Charles Bronson? Player one. Why, yes. All right, pick again. Monty Woolley, this composer's friend from Yale days, appeared as himself in Night and Day. Who's Cole Porter? Player one. Exactly. All right, pick again. This CEO of Occidental Petroleum was a co-owner of New York City's Nodler Gallery. Player one. I'm going to guess on this one. Is it Andrew Carnegie or John D. Rockefeller? Uh, Andrew Carnegie? Wrong. No, the other one. Player two. Armand Hammer? Yes. Oh. All right, contestant two. All right. Answer. Oh. 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 Player two, your wager, please. Tiptoe to the window, by I the window, that, that is where I'll be. Come tiptoe through these with me. Player two? Yeah. That's correct. 
All right, make it get. Isn't it rich? Are we a pair? Me here at last on the ground, you in midair. Send in the. What are the clowns? Player one. Exactly. Over. 600. Player one, what'll it be? The girl of his dreams called herself Lil, but everyone knew her as Nancy. Who is Rocky Raccoon? Player one. Exactly. All right, pick again. This 1966 hit by the Mamas and the Papas begins, All the leaves are brown and the sky is gray. What is California green? Player one. To be sure. All right, pick again. I'm in the mood for this, simply because you're near me. What is love? Player one. To be sure. All right, pick again. The answer is a video game level. Player one, please make your way. In the 1840s, this frontiersman guided John C. Fremont's three expeditions into the West. Take a look at your monitor. All right. Nothing struck it. Player one. I'm wrong on this one, but you know what? It's fine. I didn't go all in. I will say who is Daniel Boone and lock that in. Oh, I'm sorry. That's wrong. It is not Daniel Boone. Here is the correct Kit response. Kit Carson, but I didn't wager too much. All right, pick again. In the Federalist number 51, he put forth a case for the separation of powers and a system of checks and balances. Player three. <laughs> to be sure. Strange Madison. All Contestant right. three, it's your turn. Lakes and rivers for 200. At about two-thirds of a square mile, Upper Lake is the smallest of this country's lakes of Killarney. What's Ireland? Player one. You are correct. Your choice, player one. Explorer Jacques Cartier called it the River of Canada. What does it say, Orange Player River? Player one. That's it, exactly. Uh, river, like the river. All right, pick again. Or 600, please. Cities on this Swiss lake include Montreux and Lausanne. Player one. Uh, what is uh, Lake Geneva? That's it. All right, pick again. This reservoir formed by Hoover Dam is the largest artificial lake in the U.S. Player I'm one. Pick again and say what is Lake Mead. That's correct. Lake the rivers for one thousand. All right, pick again. This river in West Central Africa is also called the Zaire River. Player three. Oh, too late, the Congo River. Yeah, that was my guess. Yes, indeed. Too late. Player three, what'll it be? The 1840 for 200. This year lent its name to California gold rushers. What is 1849? Why, yes. Your choice, player one. Discovered in 1846, this explosive liquid was later found to help symptoms of angina pectoris. What is petroglyphs? Player one. Right you are. All right, pick again. In 1848, a flock of these birds devoured the crickets, threatening Utah's crops. Player one. What are gold? Will they take this gold? Right you are. They'll take it. Okay. All right, pick again. 
Christophe Bowie Ballot employed this mode of transportation to prove the Doppler effect. Player one. What is a say? What is a locomotive? No. I'm gonna change my answer. What is the train? Right, you are. And to finish the board. After 11 years of construction, this Moscow palace was completed in 1849. What's the Kremlin? Player one. Right you are. All right. All right, that brings us to the end of the double Jeopardy round. Just cruising through that round. Let's take a look at the scores. 17,600 for me, 4,400 for player three, 4,000 for player two. I cannot be caught. <laughs> Here we go. Looks like we're going to have a fight for second place. Now here's our final Jeopardy category. The Old Testament. Player two, your wager, please. Player three, could we have your wager, please? Player one, please make your wager. All right, here's the answer. Good luck. The Feast of Passover is first mentioned in this book. I'm not sure what it's mentioned today. Let's see how everyone did. Thanks, Johnny. Player two, your question. That's right. Yep. And your wager so, was? I know I'm right, Corey being $25,000. This has been written. Your question, player three. Oh, sorry, that's incorrect. Let's see how much it cost you. Yeah, you'll get them next time. Player one, your question? That's right. And your wager was? So Corey's getting $25,000 this segment. That puts you in the lead. Been on cruise control for a good majority of this game. Congratulations, player one. You're the Jeopardy! champion. Hope you had fun. We did. And we'll see you soon. And I'll see you all for that next segment.